Now we are discussing type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment. Before treatment uh, is I, we already know knew already about type 2 diabetes mellitus. There is a production of insulin but there is a insensitivity for this insulin action. Okay, so of course we need to give we need to control in the diabetic food diet. We need to control diet not fatty foods okay and plus we need to do the exercise we need to change lifestyle lifestyle okay and plus oral medications for type 2 diabetes mellitus so type 2 diabetes mellitus first group of drugs is sulfo nile ureas sulfo nile ureas its main mechanism of action is stimulate beta cells of pancreas beta cells of pancreas and release and release stored insulin from beta cells i am not going in details just i am telling in a shortcut way stimulate its uh, sulfonyl urease groups stimulate beta cells of pancreas and release the stored insulins from the beta cells okay the some important drugs name i'm writing here glycoside okay glycoside is uh, glycoside is a for older people basically we will give for older people and glimi glimepiride okay these are the some sulfonyl ureas second groups is a most important group is a bigona bigonides bigonides is a most important drug and mostly we use is metformin 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 500 mg tds okay most uh, most common most common useful drugs metformin it's of course its mechanism action also same peripheral utilization of glucose and inhibit the hepatic gluconeogenesis also so this is the most common useful drugs metformin this is me mechanism actions peripheral utilization of glucose as well as the inhibit the glucose hepatic gluconeogenesis third group third group is a meglitinide and this one is the same stimulate the beta cells the productions uh, stimulate the bit uh, produce the insulin from beta cells fourth is a thiazolidino thiazolidina dinodons very difficult name okay there is also increase the sensitivity its group functions also increase the sensitivity of peripheral tissue for insulins okay and we will give the here is a most common is a rosy glitazone and pure glitazone okay and another fifth group last group is alpha glucosidase inhibitors okay actually this one is a uh, carbon carbohydrate this uh, uh, this one a carbos the drugs name is a carbos okay a carbos and its main function is a reduce intestinal of uh, absorption of carbohydrate by inhibiting the enzymes alpha glucoside glucosidase in a broad border of small intestines a carbos but among all these five so I will just uh, inform you that begonites metformin you should remember and its main mechanism of action is increase the sensitivity of increase the uh, sensitive peripheral utilization of glucose and decrease the hepatic gluconeogenesis and others group are sulfonyl urease, begonites, meglitinide and thiazolidinode this one is a rosy glutagen and the uh, pyoglitazones and our last is a alpha glucosidase inhibitors is a carbose but i will just go for metformin okay but i just want to say this type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment how we monitor this is very important how we monitor we monitor by three steps this is very important uh, important monitoring first step is a first step step first 
you see first is a if s b a 1 c okay 1 c is a less than 7.5 percent of course we will do what exercise plus diet plus metformin okay metformin and we will give for a six month and if six month we will check again if s b a c s b s b a 1 c if less than seven percent we just continue we just continue this step one but if more than seven percent then we will go for the step two okay now in a step two step two step two already we come to the step two in a step two is a if s b a one c if 7.5 to 9 percent then of course we will do exercise plus diet control plus metformin 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 plus one of sulfonylurase group metformin plus one of sulfonylurase and we will do continue for a six month and again we will check the sba1c we will check and if less than seven percent we continue we continue second step but if more than seven percent then we will go for the step three and in step three what will happen in step three uh, as we know as b a one c if more than nine percent in step three of course we will do exercise plus diet diet plus metformin metformin plus intensive intensive insulin therapy insulin therapy then we'll give for six months again and if as b a 1 c less than seven percent we continue but if more than seven percent what we'll do we change the dose change the dose okay again i will describe this monitoring of the type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment because type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment very difficult to monitor so what we will do in a step 1 we always this glycylated hemoglobin we will check if less than 7% 7.5% what we will do exercise of course lifestyle will change diet we should control the fatty foods and metformin we will give for 6 months and after 6 months we will check up this glycylated hemoglobin if less than 7% of course we will do continue but if more than 7% we will go for the step 2 in a step 2 the glycylated hemoglobin level is 7.5 to 9% so we will do exercise again diet metformin plus we will add the one more sulfonylurase group of drugs and after 6 months again we will check this glycylated hemoglobin if less than 7% we continue but if more than 7% we go for the step 3 step 3 means more complications in a more complication glycylated hemoglobin if more than 9% then the continue exercise continue diet metformin plus we will choose the intensive insulin therapy and we will do continue for 6 months and again we check glycylated hemoglobin and if less than 7% we continue this same uh, regime of the uh, treatment but if more than 7% we change the dose we change the dose and we will see how the effect of the this treatment so how this is how we will treat the type 2 diabetes mellitus patients okay thank you very much these are the uh, actually complete complete uh, package of diabetes mellitus thank you